What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid, and I'm here to welcome you to part 17.3 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. Powerful people, if you're excited for this episode, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, leave any comments you have for me in the comments section, and please share this video with anybody you think might like it via social media or SMS text or any other form of sharing you know of. Smoke signal, for Christ's sake. I don't give a damn. Anyways, let's go. Oh, great. We can't even take a fucking bath. I kind of ham it up. It doesn't really piss me off that much anymore. It used to, but not so bad now. I do wish I could get that extra experience every time, though. It's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, no use going in the bathroom. Um... Yeah, I think we're going with the uh, freaky feature of found footage. Without any further ado, let's go. All right. Freaky feature of found footage. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he? And what did the students discover out there? Good questions. Uh, we need to investigate the mansion location twice to complete this quest. Fine, fine. Let's do that. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore. You'll, maybe you'll find a clue about their last known whereabouts in the school's newspaper. Why would I find that there? I don't know. Ooh, the tower window. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Get lost in the light. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you, can, you can't feel the ground under your feet. You prepare yourself for whatever, for whatever is coming, plus one reason. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Oh, the bleeding desert. A parasitic star is looming over the dying civilization. Is this the fate of our planet as well? Let's dig through the sand. Luck check success. Hell yeah. Digging through, digging beneath the stone pillar, you unearth a chest. It's filled with coins, plus three funds. Hell yeah. And we'll knock this out as well. Gotta get some cigarettes in. In the middle of a room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush in to help. When you remove his gag, though, the man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall on the floor, your mind flooded with unspeakable images, as the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. It's Judd Apatow, isn't it? I knew it. It's Judd Apatow. Um... No. That ain't gonna work. If I get lucky... I never do, though. Let's see here. Really unlucky. Cool. Um... Alright. Thank you, sir. Oh, wait, what's that? The Curious Statuette. I always forget about this bad boy. Plus one knowledge while held in the inventory. Nothing to sneeze at, nothing to shake a stick at. The legends say the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. Points you in a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. Hell yeah. Okay, um... I wanna get some more cigarettes. I like the compass too, though. Uh, I'm gonna get the compass first. And then I'll try to get cigarettes. Nice. That worked out perfectly. Let's just smoke these. Go ahead. Do that. And to the school with us. School bathroom. Uh, you enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors is opened on its own. I'm going to escape the bathroom if possible. 
Uh, you might be paranoid, but there's no way you're risking an encounter with a ghost here. Minus two reason. Fine. Fine with me. The notes mention a village not far from your town. You decide to take a bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees have suddenly died. What happened here? I don't know. Let's head to the bus, though. Hell yeah, man. I'll take uh, some more peace of... Give you some more peace of mind. Look at that, man. How crazy is this? We only have 37% doom right now. All right. Everyone in the village is unsettlingly friendly. An old farmer points you to an old stone. Okay, is anything else old in this sentence? The missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. Okay. To the village. Welcome to the rice field. I hate this one. As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze, following your every movement minus two reason. Cool. Looking back one last time, you continue deeper into the woods. Okay, resting place. It's per it's said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. Tap into his power. Knowledge check failure. You feel you've attracted the attention of something terrible. Plus two percent doom. Okay, I have. You have the feeling someone is following you. Shit. Stargazing. Your friend has asked you to meet them at a certain schedule, secluded location. Getting there, you find a telescope with a note signed by your friend. The note tells you to look through the telescope. Curious, you check it out. You didn't see anything at first, then you notice it. The bloated body of Athelaz is getting closer, plus 3% doom. I really feel like you should get to keep the telescope. You find a pile of human teeth lying on a nearby rock. Okay. Trapped dog. I can't get any allies in this. In the forest, you hear faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly when you get closer. Help the dog. Luck check. Success. Oh, I got the dog? Holy shit. I didn't know you could. Um, you free the injured dog. Thankful the animal follows you. Plus ally. So I guess you can get allies in this, you just can't ask them to join you or something. That's really great! Let's take a look at the dog. <laughs> look how cute the dog is. Higher chance of finding items after combat. Woof. What do you know? Um... Bloody Shweta. Walking through the woods, you discover... A sweater! It's torn apart and covered in blood. But where is the owner? Assume the worst. A wild beast must have killed this poor person. You say a quick prayer before continuing. Minus two reason. Shit, I'm getting low on reason, y'all. Look at the puppy. Okay. Sight of the ritual. The rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at a large hole in the ground. On the table... Next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Peek inside. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you are looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring right at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. Pour acid inside. You open the can of acid and empty its contents in the well. The house's foundation shakes as the massive creature's eye burns. The walls collapse. Walls begin to collapse as you pass out from the toxic fumes. You wake up later with a cassette in your trembling hand. The witch's house is nowhere to be seen. Freaky feature of found footage ending A. I believe that's the first time we've gotten that. Uh, plus 30 experience, plus 15 experience for the thorough investigation. Minus three doom. Plus one reason, one stamina, plus one day, level up. CQC training, don't care much for that. Uh, Yakuza card, an additional slot becomes available in all shops. Yeah, let's do that one and strength. Do I want strength or reason? I want strength. Okay, hell yes. Powerful people. That was a good one. We got that special ending we haven't got before. Um, we got the dog. And 
we got the Yakuza card, so that's cool. Uh, all those things bode well for the next one. But I hope that you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. Uh, leave any comments you have for me in the comments section, and uh, share this video with anybody you think might like it. Those things help out so much. Um, like I said, in the next one, we'll see what, uh, what is in store for us. If we can use the Yakuza card anywhere, all that kind of fun stuff. Also, we got the forest tapes, which I don't think you can do anything with yet. Uh, I think Phil told me that at one point. Shout out to Phil. Anyways, powerful people, I hope you're excited for the next one. If you are, you better tune in. But until then, my name, excuse me, my name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, peace, and love.